Hi, now I'm going to show you how to install the um, CentOS OS in your MacBook M1 chip. Um, I tried a lot of uh, virtual machine like the uh, VM Fusion, uh, but it doesn't work. Only that works is the parallel. So you have to download the uh, parallel. Just Google it on the parallel, you will see the first link. I already download in my MacBook, so it doesn't show us anything in the download here so if you uh, if you're new parallel in the new macbook you will just see something in here it's a download so <clears throat> download is super easy you have to press the um after you click it it download uh, the pkj file so you just open it and double click uh, after double click i, I think uh, it's gonna be installed automatically that's you don't have to do anything next 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 or anything just download it that's it and uh, Yes, and um, you uh, you might have to pay for it, uh, something, but uh, that's the only option available now. Or you can do like um, you can download from the website, then you can get seven a fourteen days free trial, right? Um, then after that, you can use like a your app store. Yeah, you can download it from the app store, different account. You can use another fourteen days. Um, that's how it works. Um, otherwise, you have to pay for it. Okay, so after the download the parallel, I need a iOS, ISO image, you know, uh, iOS image for that I go to the CentOS OS dot org CentOS stream. I'll send. Uh, I'll just put the link on the below. Um, we need a stream version because um, there's nothing for the MacBook yet, so we need a stream version nine. For MacBook, we need AM, ARM sixty four. You have to download it. After you click it, you'll see maybe down somewhere if you want. Okay, after I download it, I already have it. So, when you download it, uh, I go to my parallel. This is my parallel already here. Um, I just remove it I have to show you how it works and stuff, right? So, in my parallel, I have Windows 11 and the Kali Linux. Uh, I also want to add one more stuff. Um, when you install this one, the parallel, you see there's a blank. There's nothing in here. It shows. Um, just blank so how do you here show this one or if you want to click on the top in here it will it will then you go to the control center it shows this one right uh, then you click on the top the plus okay it shows that about the M1 chip okay continue then you'll install like click over here choose manually or whatever you want I have in my desktop so in desktop I have this one the stream 9 um, make sure it's a 6.77 GB okay uh, then we press open and um, we press the continue to start now the Santa OS Linux whatever you want to name it after the name you just wait yeah now it shows like I'm uh, using the free trial version where I still want to end enter the continue yeah continue trial okay let's see okay here here's the catch you can install inst stream 9 or you can there's the media 8 and install CentOS OS whatever you want is both gonna be the same things I use the first one let's see uh, okay I mean it takes a little bit time than we expected so and we also get some Linux over here, CentOS OS. It's good. Okay, so in the language, I choose English, English, continue. The install destination, where you want to install. I have my desktop, press done over here. Um, no disk selected. I did select it. I don't know why it's not selected in here. Check store. Yeah, I selected root password. Whatever you want, you can put anything. Uh, I just put. Oh, it's okay. Just install beginning now this takes a little bit of time
okay let's get started it's already done boot system place over there okay it's rebooting um the only choose the first one Bam! Oh, it's working. Set up. There's something basic stuff you have to do, like how you do this one. Skip your full name. You have to generate the the password for the login. All done, CentOS OS. This is my CentOS feature, no thanks. Uh, how you get the act? Press the active, active, activity. Sorry, activities on the top. Then you click, <coughs> if you click over there, you see the terminal, Firefox file, and then softwares and the, all the application you want to. There's a two different uh, windows in here. Yeah, you can use uh, uh, either of them. It's pretty fine. Thank you for staying with us. Bye-bye.